Look for gusty snow showers and flurries tonight, just about a 40% chance, and then clouds of sunshine on Wednesday, but still breezy and chilly. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center, where you can see from the ultimate Doppler radar just after 8 o'clock, 8.05, there's still some rain showers in the area. I thought it was supposed to change the snow. It will eventually in spots, but wind advisories last until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and the rain was pretty sizable. We had two and a third inches fall at McGee Tyson today. We're adding a little bit more around Maryville at this time, where we do have some winter weather advisories, would be Harlan County, Kentucky. Well, how much snow can they expect? Some of the higher valleys above 3,000 feet? About two inches. That's probably the bullseye where some of that snow may develop. But the bigger story, as you can see up and down from Florida, I-95 all the way up in New England, it goes from rain to snow up toward uh, Montreal, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and back towards Chicago. It's been a powerful system, and it brought with it quite a bit of wind. In fact, the update from the National Weather Service, both Morristown and Nashville, have this expiring at 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday or 6 a.m. Central, if you prefer, for Crossville and Jamestown. So Fentress and Cumberland counties uh, all talking about gusts around 50. Still a possibility of a surge, I think, between 1 and 5 in the morning. 1 and 5 in the morning, there could be another surge of strong gusty winds that could take out some power. So please make sure your phone is charged. Uh, I've been drumming that beat or beating that drum, I should say, for <laughs> multiple days now. As of 8 o'clock, our sustained winds are around 16, and the wind gusts, well, maybe not as noticeable now, but we did have a strong gust today of 55 miles per hour. You know, most people said only 45. You were like 10 miles an hour stronger than everybody else, and that's what we got. At 316, that's what we had was a 55 mile an hour gust at McGee Tyson. And it did take out some power. In fact, you can see even at this hour, there's 400 folks in Knox County without electricity. Uh, if you go up to Granger County, about 100. And that's a big improvement as they've been working around the clock to get everybody back online. Meanwhile, the high temperature today did not hit the 58 that I thought we did. We hit 57. Oh, man, you were off by one degree, but at least you got the wind gust right to the mile per hour. Who does that? Well, I guess I do. Either I'm really, 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 really lucky or, hey, he knows what he's doing. So next time I've got some little timeline that I put out there and say, hey, I know we don't have a wind advisory yet. Weather Service didn't put one out until 957 last night. 957. I was beating this drum on Sunday to my premium members said, hey, we're going to have 45 to 55 mile an hour gusts. And I said the worst time to my premium members would be between 1 and 5 p.m. 1 and 5. Can't split much different than 316 p.m. That's what we had. And we had two and a third inches of rain, pretty hefty rain, the biggest rainfall total since the 10th of August. I believe that is the correct. Yes, 2.53 was what we picked up on the 10th of August. So it's been a very sizable rain, biggest since last summer. High temperature at 57 here and severable. We hit 56 in Newport, 49 in Crossville. And yes, we did see a high of 52 in Nashville and 57 in Johnson City and Greenville. Look at Columbia. They hit 67, which is why some of the Carolinas were under severe weather concerns today. Now, a lot of the clouds are filling back in because I know you saw the sun. And as I warned this morning during my morning video, I said, look, if the sun pops out, and I fully expect it will, that you're likely to see the wind gusts start to increase. And that's what we saw. Meanwhile, the spin associated with this powerful storm system is still producing some rain, but the temperatures are dropping. So it's any matter of time now before the raindrops become wet snow showers with those gusty winds. We're at 42 at 8 p.m., but it's 36 in Crossville. So, well, that's a six degree difference. Yeah, big difference. Give it a couple more hours. I suspect if we get a half inch of snow tonight, it's going to be in the plateau. It's going to be in the Cumberland County area, Grimsley. Might see some pictures in La Follette. Hey, I got a half inch. You said we get nothing. Well, it's pretty much the horseshoe effect. We're not going to see much in the valley. Uh, but that potential is there. It's 39 in Oneida and temperature 39 in Nashville. But the colder air is beginning to work its way in with some of the wraparound moisture that's on its way here. Now, how much snow can we really expect? I wanted to show you this because you're not going to measure 0 0.1. You're just not. You're not going to pull out a ruler and say, all right, I had an inch, baby, but not 0 0.1. That's very hard to measure. It's representative of flurries. And that's about all we're going to see in the Knoxville area. But you'll notice where the blue coloring it almost favors the horseshoe effect. And if Harlan County could get up as much as two inches above 3,000 feet, well, so be it. That's what they may see. But a lot of this is going to be gone, I think, gone before 6 a.m. It'll be gone before the sun comes up tomorrow. Snow showers and flurries tonight, clouds of sunshine Wednesday, and sunny 
like a sunny day, like no clouds at all. No, not a cloud. <laughs> not a cloud, I think. Uh, Thursday. Thursday is delightful. Something to look forward to. If all this weather drama, if today was your trash pickup day, you had a whole nother reason to be concerned about the wind. Because now, if the, tra uh, if the trash can, if the trash can worked its way into your neighbor's yard, they're going through your trash. That's no fun. That adds a little bit of stress. Sorry, neighbor. Didn't mean to die. Make sure you secure those cans when you have wind advisories. Otherwise, that may be the outcome. But as far as the future rainfall, we saw a lot of it come through the area. Uh, we have kind of skip this, but we saw two and a third inches. We had flash flood warnings, as many of you know, in places like Gatlinburg Pittman Center uh, this morning and early afternoon. Right now, it's 42 degrees. I just show you this for the purpose that the winds are sustained now at 16. But that'll change with wind gusts that'll come and go. I think it'll pick up again between 1 and 5 in the morning. So that means that may have, like, the winds aren't great now. They're not perfect. But they're likely to have another surge between 1 and 5. If we got it between 1 and 5 this afternoon, round 2, as I told my preview members on Sunday, round 2 comes in 1 to 5 in the morning on Wednesday. So you may have a wind gust of 45 to 50. And it feels like it's 34 because it's blustery or will feel like that pretty soon. Storm Prediction Center talking about the lack of severe weather tomorrow where there may be some thunderstorms. Just general variety would be Utah and maybe parts of Nevada. But coming back home, it's a quiet ho-hum day in terms of weather. But then the severe weather comes back Thursday in parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, and southern Arkansas. So those areas may have scattered severe storms on Thursday because another powerful storm system is going to develop by then. So here's what it looks like on the models. But we just looked at the radar. There's not a whole lot of blue at all in places like Cookville, but that's where it puts it. That's why I say timing of these things, very tricky, not well handled at all. But eventually, I think it'll spin up. That little trough in Nashville will, in fact, spawn a few wet snow showers and flurries. So if you're in places like Oneida, Scott County, if you're in Careville, Jacksboro, La Follette, in Campbell County, or even Fentress County, I think it's fully reasonable to expect, Crossville too, that you'll see a few snow showers before midnight tonight. Uh, it'll just suddenly appear. There's midnight. Uh, there's 2 a.m., two hours later. But notice how it's gone in most cases, by 4 o'clock in the morning. So you mean by the time the sun comes up, this is all history? It is. It's like that, that, that snowflake has sailed. It's gone. Oh, man. There'll be other opportunities, I assure you. But this is not anything to get too excited about. Although everybody hears snow showers, they immediately assume there's accumulation. If there's accumulation, I'll sound that alarm. <laughs> I do that pretty well on my premium side. Really encourage you, if you're on Facebook, join us. It's only $4.99. You want to do it for one month? That's the most active month going on right now is January into February, so I think you might might find it worth your while. It's the best bargain in East Tennessee in terms of weather nerds like me. You'll love it because you'll know or be in the know of what's happening ahead of its schedule. By the way, Futurecast shows this sunny day developing on Thursday. Warm front comes in. This powerful storm system, number two, comes in on Friday and maybe, just maybe, ends as some snowflakes. There's 7 o'clock. There's an 11 a.m. centered right over Knoxville and right over Salem Follett by midday Friday. And then watch the wraparound, couple of flakes, no big deal. Hardly even makes it to Knoxville. But five o'clock, those flakes may be in eastern Kentucky and working its way up toward the mountains of West Virginia. So here it is uh, tonight, 33 the low, obviously not conducive for a good, uh, you know, accumulating snow, it's above freezing. We've had a wet ground. Goodness, we picked up over two and a third inches of rain. So it's a wet ground. Snowflakes, uh, where would they stick? Maybe a car rooftop in the plateau. So that's why I left some wiggle room. There could be up to a half inch in spots because these are snow showers in the plateau. Maybe the Smokies too. But don't expect much in the Knoxville area. Maybe a few sightings. And then you say, I didn't see anything. Okay. Okay, there it is. You didn't get anything. That's okay. I left a 40% chance of snow showers tonight. Now, gusty, yes. Between 1 and 5 in the morning, they pick up. So my gusts, 45 to 50, may not look like they're happening now. But suddenly, mirac miraculously, the winds pick up again because that trough is approaching. That'll be the catalyst to start it all over again. Tonight, down to 32 in Morristown. 27 in Crossville, sure, they could stick when you're in the upper 20s. But it may not be in the upper 20s when it's falling. See, that's the bottom. That's the 6 or 7 a.m. temperature. And I'm sure Crossville will say goodbye to the flakes before 6 a.m. It'll be going pretty quick out of the picture. 45, the low temperature tonight.
high temperatures, excuse me, high temperatures tomorrow, clouds and sunshine, breezy and chilly, winds 10 to 20 plus. They're still breezy tomorrow, 10 to 20, but nothing as gnarly as it was today. We're looking ahead to tomorrow, 46, Oak Ridge. If we hit 47, Kingston, Athens, it wouldn't surprise me. Newport, 47. But I have us only at 40 for Jamestown, Crossville, and 41 for Oneida, about 45 for La Follette. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast. You notice I kept the gusty wording up there because it's happening between 1 and 5 in the morning. Oh, okay. And then 45 Wednesday, 54 on Thursday. And then we got some beautiful looking days. Just bitter cold, right? I mean, look at the high on Sunday, 35. Now, if we see another interesting or maybe challenging snow forecast, it's going to come in Monday night, Tuesday. Because right now, there's another battle going on on the timing and the placement, the temperature to the track, and the timing of this next storm system. So Monday night, this, uh, Tuesday of next week, uh, you could see I have a 60 to 40 percent chance. That could be. Maybe that's the snow we've been long awaiting for. Because if you go back to the day after Christmas, 2022, it's now been 379 days since we've had a measurable snow in Knoxville and County. So if you're a, a snow geek like me, a team snow, you're rooting for team snow. Well, it's been 379 days. Tomorrow will be 380. Uh, we're in a snow drought. We need to see some measurable snow. Not this trace here and a trace there. That doesn't count. I'm talking about measurable snow. It's been quite some time. And I think we're long overdue, as many of you might imagine. By the way, keep, it, keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app. Now, the app is free. The free app, you can get the traffic reports. Pete Michaels Traffic are awesome. Uh, just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. But, of course, if you want to join us on Premium, simply hit the subscribe button on my Facebook page. i got one of those buttons on there now. Or you can just simply go to CaptainAccurate.com. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.